An Amber Alert issued for two children here in Jacksonville on the west side. Police need your help finding 66-year-old Braxton Williams and 4-year-old Bria Williams. Hey, it's Ike Mel, and I wanted to pop in really quickly just to talk about this Amber Alert that's currently going on in Jacksonville, Florida. And if you remember Jacksonville, that's the area where the whole Taylor Rose Williams situation happened. The boy's name is Braxton. The girl's name is Bria uh, Williams. They were last seen in the area of the 1000 block of West Beaver Street in Jacksonville. From another report that I read, the name of the area of the complex is called Paradise Village Mobile Home. Here's they're focusing on the wooded area surrounding this mobile home park. This is kind of what we're looking at right here is this wooded area just just north of where this mobile home park is and that appears to be where the helicopters as well as the drones seem to be focusing tonight. Braxton was last seen wearing a red sweater and blue jeans. He's described as being three feet four inches tall, weighing 40 pounds and having black hair and brown eyes, six years old, and he's said to have autism on a spectrum, but he's still able to communicate with others. Now, Bria, she was reportedly wearing a gray sweater with multicolored writing on the front and back leggings. She She's described as three feet tall and weighing 30 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. They're still circling throughout that area, just seeing to, you know, if they can see anything as the sun goes down. I know the spotlights are pretty bright. Now, as far as the details of the disappearance of what, when, who, how, and were they supervised, there's not that much information out there. So far, Braxton and Bria, they were reported missing by a family member around 1.30 p.m. on Sunday, which is today. Reported missing around 1 30 this afternoon police say they were last seen playing out in front of a home around 11 30 this morning after they were last seen at 11 30 a.m while playing in, in a front yard in front of their home off of west beaver street in the white house area an amber alert was issued at 5 15 p.m by law enforcement so i just wanted to put that information out there since i had a little bit of opportunity to we're definitely going to be following this case in more details as far as were they supervised or not, I don't know. One of the sheriffs reported saying that we have no idea if they were alone or if they were with somebody. And this is why a lot of times in the videos I talk about it and I'm not going to go in or say anything now. We don't know the details yet. But like with uh, Dulce Alvarez Maria, where the mother dropped off the child in the park and sat in the park and while her child was in and the child got kidnapped and I called that out, you know, and I've kind of moved on from that. But we have to say these things because there's. I don't I, I'm not sure that people realize how many people out there are lurking and looking for children and opportunities. And they took two children. You know, when you look at Cupcake, it was really weird and awkward that this uh, these people had the opportunity to take two children, but they only took one. Somebody told me that the other child ran away after. I don't know. But they're literally coming for our children. You cannot leave them alone outside. So you guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Spread out the information. I hope that they find these kids alive and intact. Peace. I see potential.